Hello everyone, I am Dattatra Nikam. Welcome you all on our channel eFanda for new day, new topic. And our today's topic is little different where you can see on a screen we will be comparing two control system implementation. One is uh, via conventional wiring, another is with a segment controller that is a field bus wiring. So our today's topic is based on conventional wiring versus field bus wiring. And if you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFanda and watch all the videos created the various topics and for that separate playlists are created and published on our channel eFanda and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get the latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFanda also eFanda team has started a membership option you have to just go and press the join button and be a member of this eFunda community where you can get the notification of our uploaded video first to you only and then others will be followed and along with that membership there are so many other benefits are there you can take advantage of this opportunity and be a member of eFunda community so let's begin with our today's topic that is conventional wiring versus field bus wiring Conventional wiring as name suggests it is the type of a separate or a different type of a wiring where the conventional wiring is used to connect the network device from one point to another point that is a point to point wiring. One can refer to the picture where the courtesy is from instrumentation tool dot coms. They have provided excellent communication or a wiring diagram for this conventional type. Typically, it is used to provide high speed networking facilities without the need of for a significant upgrade or a modification into the machines. One can see how the interface is started from the field devices that is a motor control center, then the junction boxes, which is going to the marshalling, and from there, sensors to the junction box, and further to the junction boxes, it will be connected to the PLC via multi core cables and the digital and analog modules and further interface with the system. This is how the conventional wiring is being used where the field devices, controller, actuator, sensors are interfaced through the junction boxes and then through the marshalling it is getting connected. That is the reason it is called as point to point wiring diagram. Field bus wiring, one can refer to the picture where all the wiring which we have seen into the conventional wiring remain same except few changes where one can see the field that is a motor control center that is a field bus integrated controllers are being used then the field bus sensors and actuator directly connected to the plc system and the remote ios where the sensors are connected and then further field bus sensors and actuators are connected with a two core field bus cable to the remote IO and further it will be communicated to the PLC through via field bus interface module. The difference between that conventional wiring is that there the marshalling and the JBs were used here the remote IOs and directly field bus sensors are being integrated through the field bus interface model. Field bus is a local area network for control that used share wiring for powering devices and carrying signals between the devices as you can see into the diagram field bus is an industrial network that is specifically designed for communication between plcs or industrial controllers and the field mounted center sensors and actuator the field bus is designed to replace the point to point wiring that connect each sensor and actuator to the controller IOs. This is how the field bus wiring implementation is being done and comparing the conventional wiring and field bus wiring, you can already identify what are the advantages and benefits of these two wirings. We will see further point wise differentiation or difference between conventional wiring versus field bus wiring. Conventional wiring versus field wiring. Here we will discuss the differentiation point 
with respect to the characteristics into the conventional wiring and a foundation field versus wiring first point is a wiring method one can refer to the first picture into the conventional wiring and the second picture into the foundation field versus connection diagram first wiring shows the traditional connection for connecting the field devices that is a 4 to 20 milliamps from the fields will be connected to the uh, dcs system by wire pair and further the the readings will reach to the operator similarly in a foundation field bus the field bus devices it is connected to the terminator and then the signal will be connected to the another terminator and that will be connected to the ffi that is a foundation field bus interface devices this is how the wiring is done for foundation field bus second terminations more terminations would be required in conventional wiring where the fewer terminations are required in foundation field bus wiring as you can see in already in a shown in a wiring method topology conventional is one to one that is a point to point where field bus is a multi drop type transmission method that is a 4 to 20 milliamp dc analog signal for conventional wiring whereas the digital signal into the field bus wire transmission direction one way direction into the conventional wiring foundation field bus is a bi-directional type signal type is a signal or a single signal into the conventional wiring multiplex signal into the foundation field bus multivariable transmission there is no multivariable transmission in a conventional wiring supports multivariable transmission under the foundation field bus wiring accuracy in conventional wiring chances of error are high due to the a to d conversion and a d to a conversion whereas the high accuracy is there due to the digital transmission in a foundation field bus wiring interoperability data exchange between the devices of a different manufacturer is not possible in conventional wiring whereas in foundation field bus wiring digital data would be exchanged between the devices of a different manufacturers as well wiring cost conventional wiring cost is more whereas the foundation field bus reduce wiring cost due to the conceptual wiring space requirement conventional wiring requires more space where the foundation field bus wiring required less space compared to the conventional type of a wiring with this we are concluding on our today's topic thanks for watching our channel efunda where you will get to know the fundamentals so that is our tagline get your fundamentals right where we do identify the needs then we evaluate the need then define plan for a particular need and then accordingly execute the plan this is what we are creating our technical videos so that it will help every individual to get their fundamentals right and if you are new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press bell icon to get the latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. Also, you can follow us on our Instagram page and do follow our Facebook page as well. So keep watching our channel eFunda for new day, new topic.